Julio looks like any black Labrador, but he is special. Ready? Up. Get up. Over. He's getting the highest military award in Britain for an animal, the Dickin Medal. It's the animal equivalent of the Victoria Cross, Britain's highest military honor. Jan McLaughlin is the director of the People's Dispensary for Sick Animals, which gives the prize. TRIO's particular training involves looking for improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and particularly these that are what they call the daisy chain explosives, which um, when one is detonated, a whole series are detonated, really designed to cause maximum injury to any soldiers that are passing by. And TRIO detected these and enabled them to be disarmed so that he saved those lives. TRIO worked in Afghanistan with Sergeant Dave Hayhoe, his handler. Sergeant Hayhoe says they were part of a larger team. There's plenty of dogs out there on the front line uh, searching for these improvised explosive devices and without them you know, there, I think there'd be a lot more casualties out there. For NATO forces in Afghanistan, IEDs are the number one threat, responsible for most combat deaths and for punishing casualties. Troops must find and defuse the devices. They also have to figure out who's laying the explosives and how they're being financed. As IEDs become complex, detecting them becomes complex too. Soldiers call it a cat and mouse game. As troops come up with better methods of protection or detection, the insurgents change their tactics. Olivier Gruy from London's Royal United Services Institute says IEDs are a drain on military resources. It costs money, it costs time, it costs lives, it changes the way that forces have to, to move around on the ground and it changes attitudes to risk. Major Graham Shannon spent six months in Afghanistan, where he says dogs were good for morale as well as safety. There are lots of different technologies that we've developed that accompany us on patrols that just to support our ability to detect the devices. Um, but that, the technology cannot replace the capability that the dog brings. Creo joins a long line of distinguished animal recipients including a World War II homing pigeon that delivered the news of the D-Day landings and a horse that during the German Blitz of London saved its owner. The most recent threat, IEDs, have made Trio a hero and a celebrity. This top dog now plans to retire. Jennifer Glass for VOA News, London.